Congresswoman Stacey Plaskett, given what you said before we listen to the president mm -hmm. and what he just said, is there a double standard? Oh, absolutely not. You know, I think the president, President Donald Trump, has been afforded um, such grace that would not be afforded to other individuals in this instance. Um, you know, when he tries to do these false equivalencies by creating what he did similar to what, um, you know, Secretary of State then Hillary Clinton or Vice President Pence or uh, President Biden, absolutely different. And what is the main difference? The main difference is that when those individuals were found to have documents and were told by archives or any other uh, lawful government agency to return them, they did. And President Trump did not. And not only did he not return them when requested lawfully by the National Archives by a subpoena um, to do that, he in fact lied about the documents and had his attorneys lie about the document, had staff lie about the documents. Um, and that is against the law. Um, those are the reasons why he had to face a grand jury uh, and, and they are the ones who indicted him. Let's remember, it is not a special counsel uh, who, who was the person who indicted him. It was a jury of his peers. A grand jury is made up of individuals, uh, in this case, in Southern Florida, which, as I recall, went his way in the last election, uh, voted for him. Those are the individuals who indicted him on these charges. And the charges are for the 31 documents that he kept that were, in fact, classified, and uh, additionally for obstructing justice by not returning them, and then also making false claims about those. Those are the things that not... Vice President Pence, Hillary Clinton, nor President Biden uh, made false claims or obstructed the return of the documents when they were found to have them. We will get to calls. Gary, who's in Tennessee, a Republican, is up first. Good morning, Gary. Good morning. Thank you. Uh, Ma'am, how can you sit there and tell us there's no double standard when Joe Biden had documents as a senator? It's illegal. Uh, not to mention... The FBI investigating the pedophile Anthony Weiner found, uh, do found documents on his computer, his personal computer, that, that came from Hillary's aide, Abedin, whatever her name is. It, there is there's a huge double standard. So you ask so, uh, those of us who do like President Trump to be serious about this? When it's all been swept under the rug, what about Hillary's people all uh, taking a hammer to their cell phones, beating the hard drives out of them? Uh, okay, Gary, let's so, get a response. So the, res the response, sir, and thank you for calling in, is that there is not a double standard. Individuals may, in fact, receive half documents that they're not supposed to have. And if President Trump had returned the documents, when they were requested of him, we would not be where we are today. But the difference between President Trump and Secretary of State Hillary Clinton was that when asked to return the documents, he did not. She returned the documents. President Biden returned the documents. President Trump believes that he is above the law, that there is a separate standard for him, and that he doesn't have to do with every other American like you or like me or like other elected ha have to do. And he lied about it, got his poor attorney to certify that in fact those documents had been turned over when we have recordings from him saying that he knew that the documents were not turned over and lied to the lawful request to return those documents. That's the difference. All right, Brian's in West Union, Ohio, Republican. Go ahead, Brian. Thank you for having me on. Thank you for having me on. Um, uh, first thing, I'm going to answer the guy's question that she failed to answer. It is, um, I, I'm not defending Donald Trump in any way, but I'm going to stand up for the Constitution. Um, vice presidents and uh, congressmen and women do not have uh, the, the authority to just declassify anything. And if she talks about how how she gets these, uh, she can't get them out of the skid, how did Biden get them all? But the second thing is, is that she said that when 
Donald Trump was subpoenaed. He didn't want to turn over classified documents, but the other people do. The other people did, like Pence and Hillary and Biden and all that. Well, I don't know what planet she lives on, but I know Hillary destroyed 33 emails after the subpoena, after they were court ordered, or yeah, Congress, Congress ordered those, subpoenaed those. She destroyed them and busted up phones with hammers. Is that giving, is that, is that, is that following or is that obstructing? That is obstructing. Okay, well, let's book. get a response. Well, first of all, sir, my name is Congresswoman Stacy Plaskett. Um, and I, what I said was in fact correct, that there is a process for declassification. President Trump cannot unilaterally in his mind declassify uh, documents. He has to go through a process, the process and the law, just like everyone else. And he did not do that. And he did, in fact, obstruct justice by not following subpoena. We have recordings of him doing that. And many of these were classified documents. There are not classified documents that Hillary Clinton had that she destroyed. Um, and that, in fact, is a fact. And I'm right here on planet Earth. We'll go to Palmetto, Georgia. Monica, Democratic caller. Hi, Monica. Hi. Um, my question is, um, Republicans are running away with this narrative that Hillary Clinton destroyed documents and um, um, uh, bust, busted up um, cell phones with a hammer. Can you respond to that? Is that really true? Um, I mean, we, it, it's like, you know, you is it true we're just letting these Republicans run away with that um, narrative and, and not debunking it because it's out there and okay. people believe it? All right, Monica. Okay, thank you. First of all, you're correct. She did not destroy with a hammer uh, cell phones. That's another one of these conspiracy theories that's out there that is not, in fact, true. And were there emails that were deleted? Yes, they were. But an investigation that was done by the Trump administration found, in fact, that those were not um, intentionally deleted to subvert a subpoena and they were not classified documents. Um, let's remember that at the end of the day, Trump is not being uh, indicted, was not indicted by his peers, by other Americans for the boxes and boxes of documents that he had. He is, has 31 counts of indictment for classified material, material that, in fact, um, is, is detrimental to him possessing, is detrimental and can cause great harm to the national security of our country.